Welcome back to Finger Studio guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to render your Roblox character for free so you can make awesome thumbnails or maybe fan art, whatever you prefer. So the first thing that you have to do is come to Roblox Studio, go for a new, choose the base plate so you can have a workspace. And the, um, obviously depending, I don't know how many of you already use Roblox Studio or not, you normally you come up with this kind of a screen like, just like this. So you need to have the plugin uh, lot character. If you don't have it, all you have to do is come into the toolbox and go to plugins and you just type there lot character and you will see it uh, right here, lot character light. So you just click on it, install it. And after that, you just will have it here on the plugins menu. So if you choose it, you have to put here your avatar's name. So I'm just gonna put mine, Pintamix. And you have to put a spawn as a R15 because R15 has got more movement. So, you know, some people want to really uh, make uh, the different position of the avatar because you can move everything you know you can move uh, I don't know the face if you want the arms the legs anything that you prefer so here is we got our avatar here so for example we're just gonna I just gonna make it quickly you know I'm not gonna lie to you guys if you wanna do things like to move the avatar it takes a little bit practice to make the perfect you know pose so all you have to do with this is just go to your avatar uh, animation editor and you come out with this window here so all you have to do here is just select your character and it will give you straight away this window they say create a name so i'm just gonna pull for example abc as a, as a name to create the animation we do okay come here to this uh plus and do add all so you have all the parts of your avatar that you select and anything that you do you'll be able just to move it you know, to rotate it, depending on the position. So it's gonna be uh, from there, depending obviously what you want to do. You see, I can move my leg on this way. So for example, I can move my leg like this, or I can just go my arms. And I'm gonna choose another three and I can go like this, you know, like saying hello. Um, and so obviously it all depends what you're trying to do, what kind of thumbnail or what exactly if you're doing fan art things just for fun, you can move any part of your avatar. So after that you got the pose that you want, I'm just gonna leave it like this. It looks cool. <laughs> you're just gonna have to go to here and you have to go as save. So if you save it, that's all good. And so guys, the last thing is before you save the whole project, you have to remember that you have to delete the base plate. Okay, you just click it and you delete it. So you have to be like this. Nothing there, just a sky. And so after you delete the base plate, click again on your avatar, just in case, and go again to the animation editor. And do again save, because you just change something. So just save it like that. After you save it, you can go now to File, Advanced, Export as OBJ, and I'm just going to call it ABC. And after this, you can go now to Blender. If you don't have it, uh, I'll just leave the link in the description of this video so you can install this program. You just The first thing that you do when you open the program is click on this cube, delete it. You go to File, Import. And you go to Wavefront OBJ and you choose, go to the destination where you saved before the project, where your avatar with the post that you choose, and you just choose the file. Remember, it's the OBJ now. And you got this one here. And you may wonder why it's looking so weird. So you got the post that you made or that I made. All you have to do is go here to the right side and go to colors, texture, and voila. You got your normal avatar now. But you need to do at least these two settings so you got good quality uh, blender all right so you can have to place your avatar in any kind of thumbnail or photo that you want so you have to go first the dimensions so the first one is gonna be 3a40 and this one is gonna be 
to 160. So after this, you go to the little camera here and you choose film and you have to make sure the transparent is selected because in, th in that way you won't have a background so you actually will render just the avatar and you can place it in any other photo so after this all that you have to do is to put your avatar in the position of this camera uh, so you can take the photo all right so i tell you that this program is a bit uh, the beginning complicated to use like to move around because it's a bit different but you'll get your way just have to practice a little bit so i'm just gonna move this av my avatar i'm just gonna rotate it first into where the camera is so the camera is here like you see so i'm just gonna move it a little bit here and i'm gonna roll it a little bit down because i think it's a bit the top let me see so like for example here it's obviously depending on what you're doing i'm just gonna select the camera and i'm just gonna move it so for example i know that it's taking this so i'm just gonna move it a little bit here and i make a little bit to the top and i incline it maybe a little bit if i can rotate it from here whoops so like this so if you want to see what is the area they selecting right now, you just go here to the camera logo. And for example, this is the photo that it's going to take. So obviously it's not showing our face. So we need still to move it a little bit more. So I'm just going to get, I'm just going to get the camera. I'm just going to move a little bit and maybe move a little bit in this way. And let's see now. So still nada. So again, we choose the camera. And what about this? So this is, looks better. You can, you know, you can do whatever you prefer. You can move the avatar, you can move the camera. Like I said, it's just a little bit, you have to get used to, to do it. So it's all good. So let's say I'm just going to leave it like this because this is just to show, you know, how to do it. So after you go the position that you want it and you're short. So once you got this light here, you have to make sure you move around because that light, it will give the light to your avatar. So for example, we are here. So I'm just going to leave it, for example, at the top. It all depends what kind of, you know, of thumbnail or art you're doing so i'm just gonna leave it there and you go to this option render so you do render image and it will give you like let's say the sample how it is how it's gonna be the photo so for example it's gonna be like this so if you don't like the lightning if you don't like the position or something you can just uh, close it back and all you have to do is come back to you to the previous position and you can do it again you know like for example if i didn't like that lining i just move a little bit maybe here and maybe it's better and again you just go to render and check it again until you get the right one so i'm just gonna leave for example this one and after you got the one that you want you just go here to image save as and you put it whatever you prefer. I'm just gonna leave it in the desktop and I'm just gonna put A, B, C, D. And you should have here all already set up as a PNG, which is the good quality photo. And you do save as. And you will save it. So that's it, you got it there now. So after this, obviously it depending, I don't know if you guys use any, um, you know, program to editing photos and stuff like that you're just gonna have to go to whatever you use so for example i use photoshop so i'm just gonna open a screenshot that i had before from the blender so we create a fast thumbnail so for example i put this background and now on normally in all the programs you have the option place and i can place the avatar they are just blend so it's a b c d and like you see it's gonna come out right here no background so it's right there you can resize it or do whatever you prefer. So I can put it for example like this and just go with okay. 
and I can just add my test, for example, here. How to render my Roblox avatar. And I just, let's say, I'm just gonna put it a little bit bigger, for example, like this, and move a little bit here. Uh, the color that you prefer, you know, depending, like I say, depending which uh, program to do editing you have. But yeah, so for example, I'm just gonna leave it like this. And after, that's it, you just have to save it. You, for example, I put this thumbnail, choose your format, always PNG, and I'm just gonna leave it at the desktop. And that's it. So here is, this is our new thumbnail, really cool. You know, we blend it ourselves. It's really easy, guys. You just have to practice a little bit, but you can create amazing things. So thanks for watching this video, guys. If you have any question, comment below and I'll answer to you as soon as I can. And remember to subscribe if you haven't and comment on the latest videos to participate in our giveaways. And until next video, adios.